There ain't no way in hell that this 400 pound woman got pregnant by a man through sex and then had the baby. There ain't no way, right? There is no way that this 400 pound woman had sex, got pregnant, and had a baby. Hey, what up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another reaction video. And today we're talking about the 1,000 pound sisters again. Now, if you guys didn't watch my first reaction on the 1,000 pound sisters, the link is going to be in the bio. So make sure you guys go watch that one before you watch this and then come back and watch this. But, y'all, <laughs> these people, these women, these hefty, thick, strong women, brick house women still managed to get a man and get pregnant from that man now I know what you're saying that's crazy right how can somebody I don't know I don't know that's that's just a lot to take in like she really had a full little baby inside of her mmm Wow. For him to be able to get past them cheeks is a blessing, baby. That's a blessing. But, um... Man, let's go ahead and watch this video, bruh. So, this woman, I think her name's Amy, bro. She somehow pulled a man. Now, I'm not sure if this dude is a feeder. Which he probably is a feeder, right? Because if you're with a 400-pound woman... You probably like feeding her some chili and some more stuff. What am I looking for? Oh. So I'm pretty sure he's a feeder. And I'm pretty sure that she just deals with any BS that he throws her way. Like, I feel like you can't really be that picky when you're like almost bed bound. You know what I mean? Like whatever God gives you, you got to take that one. You got to take that one. And hopefully they have a car so they can go get you food whenever you want it. But back to the ease. A, a thousand pound white people though all I gotta say about this is that you know that baby's gonna be fat you know that baby's gonna be fat and even if that baby plays sports if that baby plays football that baby's gonna be one of them big old football players not one not, not like the quarterback or nothing like that you know what I'm saying he probably play football or volleyball or something so he could be thick but if he doesn't play any sports you already know where it's headed you already know where it's headed. Um, <laughs> unless, unless these people somehow manage to like actually get their eating together and then their kid is healthy, it's gonna be a, a whole another a thousand pound. It's gonna be a thousand pound family generations. You know what I'm saying? It's just gonna keep getting passed down generation after generation. But I really want to know how sweaty and wet them bed sheets were after they did this, <laughs> cause I know. I know both of them was sweating heavy. I know it wasn't long. I know it wasn't continuous. There was breaks. There had to be a little bit of breaks to catch their breath and stuff. Or otherwise, they would have passed out for sure. For sure. So it had to be either quick or there was a lot of breaks, a lot of water breaks, a lot of chili breaks, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Pop-tart breaks. You know what I'm saying? You put the pop-tart in the toaster. You come back. Couple pumps. Go get the pop-tart. You know what I'm saying? have a little food break then you come back a couple more pumps maybe you gotta uh i don't know maybe you gotta wipe down after that then you go back into it a couple more pumps and at this point you ready you ready to blast off you know what i'm saying so you go ahead and do your thing you blast off boom now she got a baby inside of her now now her excuse is that she has to eat for two but she was already eating for two her whole life but now she's like, oh, I got to double that because now I got a baby. So now she's over here eating 9,000 calories a day because she got a baby inside of her. So now she's getting fatter and fatter. Now it's not going to be a 1,000 pound sister. It's going to be 1,200 pound sisters. They both going to be 600 with the baby. Then the baby going to come out. She's going to be 550. The baby going to come out 50 pounds. With all them Pop-Tarts and slushies. 
Look, I'm assuming the worst. Let's just go ahead and watch the video. My body feels pretty good. It's just numb. I can't wiggle my toes. Like I'm trying, but I can't wiggle. So, That's scary. That, dude, everything's fine. Is that normal after pregnancy to not be able to wiggle your toes? Oh, girl. Look, I don't want to say nothing. That, dude, I don't want to be mean or anything. But stuff like this be creeping me out, bro. Like, am I the only one? Like, people be staring at you and they have, like, a lazy eye and it's just like, damn, bro. Like, do you feel it slowly move? Ugh, let's not get into it. Let's not get into it. Oh, girl's a hair net. Are you ready to meet your baby? Oh. I'll put him next to your skin here. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, no. I can't hear her. It's a boy! His name's Gage. Looking at Gage, I just see his whole future, basically. I see him going off to college. It's just, it's an emotion you can't really talk about because you just love him so much, you don't have words to explain how much you love him so much. Aw, can't relate. I want to see how much hair you got. Oh my god, he's got so much hair. Girl. And it's curly-ish. Holding Gage for the first time felt surreal. I mean, my heart just melted. He was so perfect. His little fingers, his toes. Oh lord, they didn't have to do yeah, the baby like that. Yeah, this little ball of joy. Everybody knows. <laughs> Everybody knows you gotta wait a couple months before you show the baby's face. You gotta let them grow out of that. Now this, you only have to do that. I know y'all trying to be real. You trying to be the learning channel. Y'all trying to be a documentary and stuff. But that's just messed up, man. And first of all, that baby is pissed off that you showed him. He look mad as hell. Yeah, I made this little ball of joy. <laughs> Oh, it's opening his eyes, Daddy. It hurts to fart. It okay. Hurts to fart. It hurts to <laughs> Thanks for telling us. It hurts us. to do all that. Uh. Oh, baby. That kind of hurt, too, but it was worth it because I was kissing my son. He's small, but he's healthy enough to come home in a couple of days. You know, you got to go to the NICU or anything like that. Oh, so he was a straight. premature baby His or doctor what? just came in and told me that he's doing good. He looks good. He's so small. Girl, she's about to fatten that baby up. Is, but never seen a baby that small. They said his body temperature was too cold. So they've been keeping him under the heaters. But the doctor said he might they be a little They've been warming him up like a little small, burrito or something? So they got him Baby's on that little 7-Eleven conveyor belt. I was just sitting around holding Gage. He looks better here. Bed. They wiped his eyes. Sitting in my own bed. I still think he has a little Tammy nose. Don't look at me like that. He giving me one of my looks. Who's <laughs> breathing all heavy behind the camera? Okay, little baby, I see you. What'd you guys think of her child? She really had a child. A full baby. That's crazy, right? That's crazy. She had a full child. I wasn't really expecting them to have a child on their weight loss journey. You know what I'm saying? That's adding weight on. Yet, whereas you're trying to take that weight off. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Her hospital bills are paid. <laughs> well, guys, if you enjoyed that video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And come back every Wednesday for another reaction video. No cap.